Sock Venture is the latest addition to the back catalogue of indie developer Nighthouse Games, a run-of-the-mill hardcore 2D puzzle platformer. How does this one hold up? There is a story to Sock Venture, although, as is often the case with these games, it's shallow and left as filler. This isn't a bad thing, however, as these games are never for the lore, rather they are all about the gameplay. As a consequence of this, execution is paramount with such titles. Platforming needs to be exact, with controls remaining tight and responsive, and Nighthouse games have done well here. We never felt as though the character moved in ways that we didn't dictate, although dashing did take some getting used to, often overshooting or falling short. Collision was spot on, with platforms and hazards starting and ending where they appear to on screen. The mechanics themselves are easy enough to understand, with the simpler ones left to the player to work out, whilst the unintuitive are explained well. Each time such a mechanic is introduced, it's done so first in an easy level, followed by a more challenging one which focuses on that mechanic alone, before mixing it in with other mechanics you've thus far been exposed to. We appreciate this. There are a few hundred short levels, each being unique enough. As is to be expected with so many levels, there are a few moments which left a distinct feeling of, I've done this already, but these were rare enough and quickly forgiven by fresh mechanics and level design. With that said, there's nothing in the design that hasn't already been done in a 2D platformer before. Buzzsaws, spikes, temporary footholds, pitfalls and lasers form the majority of hazards as is commonplace in this genre. The goal in each of these levels is, naturally, to reach the end, whilst gathering as many coins as possible. These coins are necessary to unlock the bonus Dark Levels, encouraging you to go back and gather more. You are further encouraged to return to earlier levels as you continue to unlock additional abilities. These range from wall jumping to double jumping and the aforementioned dash, and are not only necessary to complete later levels, but also to reach certain areas or complete many of the hidden bonus levels found as you progress. These bonus levels all contain the socks that you're tasked to gather, and for each you find you unlock a unique skin for your character. It's a nice addition. Each level also has three challenges to complete, being to collect all the coins, beat the timer, and a no-death run. This adds much needed replayability to the game, as the first run through, at least for us, was maybe four to five hours, with a lot of that time being spent dying and retrying. And dying is something you will do a lot of, this is far from the most brutal of 2D platformers, but it's not easy either. Timing and placement, more often than not, needs to be perfect, and there were several moments of confusion as to how to progress. If you do find yourself hitting a wall, the game will advise you that you can enable mid-level checkpoints if so desired. We didn't use these ourselves, but it's good to see optional concessions made for those who are newer to the genre. Onto the aesthetic side of things, it's a good looking game, with bright neon colours and cartoony appearance, although the level setting can oftentimes feel like a simple recolour. That said, we can't think of many ways to make the inside of a washing machine feel varied, so... Sounds are good, with gameplay audio being simple but effective, and the music enjoyable and appropriate. To conclude, Sockventure is a good entry into the 2D platformer space, scoring 7.5 out of 10 from us. With tight controls, good level variation, a well-tuned difficulty curve, and plenty of replayability, it's a good purchase for fans of the genre at only £11. What holds it back from a higher score is predominantly in failing to do anything new. To be clear, it's a great 2D platformer for sure, but with so many fantastic games in this space already, such as N Plus and Super Meat Boy, great begins to look average. If we were to discount the existence of other titles in this genre, we'd probably add another point. Leave your thoughts down below, and with that we thank you for watching, and we'll catch y'all next time.